Draft pull requests play a crucial role in modern software development workflows. They provide a dedicated space for collaboration, allowing developers to share their work early without triggering automated workflows or formal code reviews. Let's learn how to use them in GitHub. Here we go. Let's see if we can make a case for using a draft pull request. The purpose of draft pull requests is to serve as a bridge between private work in progress and the official code base. They allow developers to seek feedback, iterate, and refine their changes before making them public by merging them to the main branch. So, what are some of the benefits of using a draft pull request? There are several, but two come to top of mind. The first is isolation. Draft pull requests remain separate from regular PRs until explicitly marked as ready for review. This isolation prevents accidental merges or premature code exposure. The second is early feedback. Developers can engage with the reviewers, discuss design decisions, and address concerns without the pressure of a formal review process. Okay. Let's look at how we can create draft pull requests. So, in order for us to create a draft pull request, the first thing we need is some changes for the draft pull request. So let's go into our repository here, and let's create a new branch. So we'll create a new branch, and we'll just call this testing draft PRs. So I'm going to create that new branch for us. And then from that branch, I'm going to go into a couple different files and make a couple of changes. So we'll go into the readme file and let's edit this readme file. And let's say this is a change for the draft PR. And we'll change this to be please bear with us. And we'll commit that change and we'll take the update readme message and commit it to the draft br branch. And just because we can, let's go make one more change and let's go into, say, our haiku's JSON and change this to be, click the edit button, and we'll change this to be rain in Mississippi. And we'll commit that change as well. So now we have a couple of changes that we've made. So now we want to go create a pull request. However, we want to create a draft pull request because I may not be done yet with all of the changes I'm going to make and I just want to get some feedback. So you can see it is actually keeping track of the fact that I made that change is even prompting me. Or I can just click new pull request here if I want to. And I can select that I want to go from my testing draft PRs to my main branch. We can see the two files that were changed. So these are my changes. And we're going to click create pull request. So here you can give your pull request a title. You can give it a description. Testing how draft PRs work. But here, instead of just cr clicking create pull request, we're going to select create draft pull request. So we've changed it to draft pull request here. And we'll click draft pull request. Now this creates a pull request. You can see right here, it's got a slightly different icon. It says the word draft, shows the word draft. So it shows we're in a draft state. And you'll notice that this pull request is still a work in progress. Draft pull request cannot be merged. I can't click the merge on the pull request. So I can't merge this pull request at this point. If I had had a code owner's file in this repository, then I wouldn't be able to, um, or it would not have added the, peop the reviewers from the code owner's file here. But other than that, I can treat this like a normal pull request. I could add labels to the pull request. I could have reviewers. I can even come in and say, okay, 
I could come in or one of my coworkers could come in and provide me feedback. So maybe this should be a change here to bear with us with an exclamation point. And so I can even start a review. I can click finish a review. I could leave a submit the review with a comment. And then I can see, I can get feedback from other people on my team on where things stand with this pull request. Now when we're ready, when this pull request is ready to be officially reviewed, I can click the ready for review button. And that changes it into a full blown pull request at that point. As you can see, the icon has changed. It now says it's an, an open state. But we still have all of these suggested changes that might have been made for us. So we haven't lost anything. What we've just done is indicate that we want this to be a, this is an open pull request now that we're going to try to potentially merge. You can see I can even merge the pull request here. However, if I decide, well, wait, no, this pull request isn't quite ready yet. I can click this link right here to convert it back to a draft. This allows me to convert it back to a draft pull request where there I could continue to make changes until I'm ready to make it a real pull request again. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of draft pull requests. Please like and subscribe to help my little channel with the YouTube algorithm. And remember, these work in progress PRs are more than just placeholders. They're powerful tools for collaboration, iteration, and code refinement. By leveraging draft pull requests effectively, you can enhance your development workflow, foster teamwork, and build better software. So go ahead, embrace the draft PR mindset. Thanks for watching.